Hi, I'm Sarah from GenEye and I'm here to give you an introduction to some of the fantastic features of the Motorola Zoom. The Motorola Zoom is an incredible business tool. I'll guide you through setting up some of the basics and how to personalise your device so you're up and running on your Motorola journey. To begin, let's look at using the device for the first time. To set up your device, remove the SIM tray on the back of the device, insert your XT SIM card, and place the SIM tray back into the device. You can now press the power on button located at the back. The Zoom runs on Android Honeycomb 3.0. This is an adaptive operating system and can be customised to meet your business needs. The first time you turn on your device, you'll need to go through the startup steps. This is really easy and will only take a few minutes. The welcome screen will appear the first time you switch on the device. From here, you will be asked to select a language. Once you have done this, press the start button. The next screen is the Google Location Service screen. Read through the details and once you've made your selection, press next. The Zoom will now ask if you want to sign in with a Google account. While it's not necessary to be able to use the device, it is recommended, so you can experience the Zoom's full Android capability and the Android Marketplace. To sign in, select Next. Enter your Google account email and password and select Sign In. If you don't have a Google account, select Create Account and the Zoom will walk you through the setup. It may take a few minutes for the Zoom to sign into Google for the first time. Once completed, the Zoom will ask if you would like Google to back up and restore your device. This is your choice, so read through the terms and conditions to see if this will suit your needs. When you're happy to move forward, select Accept and then Done. Don't worry, you'll only need to complete this process the first time you turn on the device. And any settings that you choose during the setup can be changed in the future via the Settings menu. Now let's take a good look at this device. To activate the screen when asleep, tap the power button at the back of the device. Select the unlock icon and then the secondary unlock icon to activate the Zoom's home screen. You will notice that the screen is interactive. You can slide it side to side. On the top left of the screen is the Google Voice search. Use this option to find information from Google while on the go. On the right, you will find the apps menu. This option will take you to a full list of the applications on your device. The final option on the right is a plus sign. This allows you to customise your home screen, add a clock or change your wallpaper. At the bottom left are the navigation buttons for the home screen. On the right is the clock and status section. In the status section you'll find the battery life, connections and notifications such as application updates, Wi-Fi and airplane mode. Now let's run through the features you can use on your Zoom. We'll look at the Android Marketplace, email and Google Maps and how these can help you in your working life. To access the Android Marketplace, select the market icon on the main screen. If it's your first time at the market, you'll be asked to accept or decline the terms and conditions. To access this area, you will need to accept these terms. When in the Marketplace, you will see the main Marketplace screen for the Zoom. This has the top apps listed for the Zoom and along the right side, the choice of categories you can browse. At the top of the screen, you can also search for an application by name or by what the application does. At the top right of the screen, you will see My Apps. Select this option to view your current Marketplace apps. That was the Marketplace, your one-stop shop for extras you can add to your Zoom to make this device work for you and your business. Now let's go through the steps of adding email to your device. The most common email configurations are POP3 or Microsoft Exchange. So let's run through adding an Exchange email address. To access email, select the Apps icon at the top right of the screen and then select the Email icon. This will take you to the account setup. 
Type in your email address and password and select Next. Once connected to your email provider, the Zoom will ask you what type of account you're trying to activate. POP3, IMAP or Exchange. Today we are setting up a Microsoft Exchange email, so we're selecting the Exchange button. The Zoom will now retrieve the account settings from your Exchange server. Once complete, it'll ask you for your server settings. You'll need to ask your Exchange administrator for these. Enter the settings and select Next. The Zoom will now talk with your Exchange server to confirm these settings. You may get a request for remote security administration. If this happens, select OK. You'll then be asked to choose settings from your desktop exchange. Select those that you would like to appear, then select Next. A box will appear to confirm your choices have been set up. When you're ready to continue, select Activate and you will be asked to name this account. You can have multiple accounts on the Zoom, so we will call this one Work. Your email is now set up and ready to go. You can see how easy it is to set up email. I'll now show how easy it is to use Google Maps on the Zoom. From the main active screen, select Maps. This will bring up the Google Maps interface. At the top right of the screen, there are five icons. Location, Places, Directions, Layers and Expanded Menu. The Location function uses GPS to locate where you are. Places will bring up a list of places of interest. Use directions when you want to plan a route to get to places faster. By selecting layers, you can add traffic, satellite, terrain, buzz, which shows you social media feeds like Twitter and Latitude. Our favorite business tool is satellite images. The fifth and final function is the expanded menu where you can make further changes. Other features of this interface include zoom in and out. Hold your thumb and forefinger together on the screen, then just open your fingers and the screen will zoom in. To zoom out, simply bring your fingers together. For bird's eye view, hold both thumbs at the side of the tablet and pull down. To move the map, just hold your fingers on the map and move the map back and forward, or rotate so you can see the map from the direction you are standing. As you can see, the Motorola Zoom is a feature-packed device that you can adapt to your work life. Now you're on your way to discovering even more on your Motorola Zoom. And remember, the more you practice, try new apps and enjoy the device, the easier it will become.